sweep. The Gladiators were at ease in the sky. Olympia glided into pole position. Nomad conquered his challenger, showing him the way of the warrior. And Scar ripped up the competition. Tonight, things take a turn. Because the challengers are full of it. Come on. You need to remember my name, Shane. And the gladiators don't like it. Your time's coming. Bring it on, boys. for you tonight. Our gladiators are pumped and our challenges are psyched and ready. Tonight, they'll run the gauntlet, swing from pendulum and face the power of Powerball. So strap yourselves in, it's going to be a big one. Please welcome our first female challenger, Ronnie Lebovich. 26-year-old Ronnie from the Gold Coast started her career in the circus and is now a professional acrobat. She holds the title of Miss Fitness Queensland. Go get him, Ronnie. And tonight, Ronnie will be competing against Ashley Kelly. Hailing from Melbourne, 21-year-old Ashley is a dental practice manager. She's been a gymnast for years, loves surfing and snowboarding. Let's hope she gets her teeth into this. And now our first male challenger, Philip Breslin. 24-year-old Brisbaneite Philip is a biology teacher. His hobbies include boxing, basketball and footy. He's a real wildlife warrior who enjoys wrestling large snakes. And he certainly looks set to tangle with the gladiators. And our second male challenger, Shane Elisara. Shane is a 34-year-old business development manager from Barara, New South Wales. His passions are running, rock climbing and rugby. He loves training outdoors. How will he go in the great indoors? All of our challenges are vying for one of two Subaru Foresters and are sharing $100,000 cash waiting for them in the grand final at the end of our series. And of course, tonight's games will be adjudicated by internationally renowned referee Bill Harrigan. So we've met the ref, we've met the challenges, so now it's time to let, let the, the games begin! begin. This is an aerial game of cat and mouse, where our challengers have to climb their way around a swinging ball with a gladiator hot on their tail. Ashley, how are you? I'm very well. So what's your main sport? Uh, I'm a gymnast. I've been involved in gymnastics since I was four years old. Unfortunately, I had to retire when I was 14 due to two knee operations. Um, recently, I have taken it back up non-competitively. So what sort of advantage does, does gymnastics give you against the gladiators? Hopefully it's going to help me out with some tricky manoeuvres, some flexibility, upper body strength and some agility. Yeah, gymnasts can do some crazy things with their bodies. Just how flexible are you? Would you like me to show you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks. Ronnie, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, you're a professional aerial acrobat. Yep, aerial acrobat. What do you love most about it? 
I just get to spend all my time in the air. It's my domain. I love it. So does that mean you do acrobatics down on the ground as well? Oh, I can bust out a bit on the ground as well. Now, you are also Queensland's Miss Fitness. Yeah, that's right. 2007 Miss Fitness Queensland. All right. Woo. Good luck tonight. Stunned. Because Ronnie's going to need all the circus skills she's got to negotiate the pendulum. We're coiled and ready to strike with lightning speed is Viper. In Pendulum, to score 10 points, the challenger must stay on the ball and avoid their yellow tag being grabbed. Referee Bill Harrigan, let's get into the swing of it. Challenger, are you ready? Gladiator, are you ready? Three, two, one. You would think that our 26-year-old aerial acrobat from Queensland will be well suited to this game. She knows all about being suspended in midair. The first decision you make in the pendulum could decide your fate. And already, Ronnie has taken the right line away from the gladiator. As you see, Viper's caught in the webbing. She's losing valuable time right there. Two thousand fans are willing on the challenger, Ronnie. She's working hard at the top of the pendulum. Viper is looking now for the challenger. And Ronnie looks like she's done enough. She can see Viper. But the clock is on her side. And what a dramatic start. The first game of the night. And Ronnie has got 10 big points. Hey, Ronnie, you weren't kidding when you said you were good at aerial acrobatics. You know, air's my domain. It's my playground. Bring it on. Well, a brilliant way to start the night. 10 points. Can't get better than that. Viper's hissing about that one. That's first game down. Time to see if Ashley now has as much luck on the pendulum as she plays against the queen of competition, Olympia. Challenger, are you ready? Gladiator, are you ready? Three, two, one. She might only be 21 years of age, but Ashley has plenty of experience in gymnastics. She'll need it on the pendulum, and she's staying high. She's made the right line early on, but Olympia has her within sights, almost. She's lost her there briefly. She's, well, she's caught at the top of the pendulum. Does that give the challenger an opening? Olympia is starting to close the gap. Ashley doesn't know which way to go. She looks around the crowd, is trying to tell her. Be careful where the gladiator is. She's hesitating. She's staying fixed on the pendulum. You can't do that against the gladiator. Ashley is now starting to motor along in the right direction. Olympia is cutting it down. She's moving quickly. Can she get there? Ashley has survived. And she gains 10 valuable points. A fantastic start. And as always, Olympia showing great sportsmanship. I've lost this game, but it was nice to be challenged for once. Both challengers pulling off in top gear. They've each racked up a massive 10 points after their first game. After the break, our male challengers face Scar and Hunter on the pendulum. And the girls were good in the air, but how will they go on the ground?